What do you want? I wanted to record a video, but I forgot to push the button. <laughs> that yesterday I talked about in my video when negative thoughts come in, flip it around, the focusing on what you want. That's the question. And, and I didn't mention it yesterday. That's one of those key phrases. Get it in your mind. Whenever you're in a situation, ask yourself, what do I want? Because how many times do we play out these scenarios? For example, I'm as I'm trying to grow my brand and I have a couple of business opportunities that I'm working on and I want to start doing targeted Facebook ads. I, I've done lots of training in the past. I've bought a lot of books, a lot of courses, and was disappointed. So now, it, it's it, and if you can relate to something that you're trying to do, we look at the negative. I'm looking at, Man, I don't want to buy this course because now, of course, all these courses and stuff are popping up. And I'm like, I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to waste my time and money. I don't want to get something that doesn't resonate with me. I have to stop. So it's negative thinking. What do I want? I want to learn or find someone that can help me do Facebook ads that's reasonably priced, at reasonably priced, and that knows how to do it. It's no different than you know taking your car to get it fixed or going to buy a car or you know we always think about the bad things that happen, right? Oh, car salesmen do this. Oh, blah, blah. what do I want? Narrow it down. Break it down. I want. A car at this price, blah, blah, blah. And if it's reasonable, that's what you focus on. And, and God and your creator will guide you in that direction. Those things will happen. It's kind of like plugging in your GPS and address. That's what I want. That's where I want to go. That's what I want. And you go there. Now, that's being positive, right? Just, just, just use that as an example. That's where I want to go. Whatever you're wanting, whether it's the job, the car, or me learning how to do Facebook ads, even, even with a relationship, if you're wanting a certain type of relationship, a certain type of person, they, they look a certain way, they act a certain way, they, they have certain interests, plug that into your GPS. But whenever you start having those negative thoughts, yeah, but in the past, this happened, that happened, somebody took advantage of me or somebody just got screwed over on buying their car, you know, a friend of yours or relationships always suck. That would be you taking detours or changing the address in your GPS. You have a place where you want to go. You have, you have it plugged in on the map, on your GPS, but you keep changing because of your negative thoughts. So whenever you start getting in that quandary, you have to you have to be self-aware. You have to be the observer. You have to watch yourself. You kind of have to pull yourself outside of your body and look down and say, hey, cut that out. What do I want, ultimately? And just like a child, uh, a, a friend of mine is in town, and, and they have a, ch a two-year-old with them. And everything, don't do that. Do, you know, do this, do this. Why, why, why? Break it down. Break it down and get it to the nitty gritty. That you know, sometimes you have to be general at first. I just want a car. Well, break it down. What time? What kind of experience do you want to have? It's kind of like uh, reviews on movies or on products. You know, sometimes they'll be all over the place. But people have different experiences because of what they bring to it. So you can have a better experience. You can have what you want. You just have to focus on that. Does it always work out? No, but you get better at it, and those things will start lining up. That's your karma. Karma. You reap what you sow. What you're putting out there will eventually catch up. Now, you might have some of those bad thoughts lingering and things that you put out there that are still coming to you that you got to get through. You know, some bad addresses you put in your GPS that still keep popping up and taking you the wrong way. But once you get clear, your path will get easier. You'll start seeing it. You have to be aware of it. What do I want? 
Now, there's a couple caveats. It's simple but challenging. One is you have to believe. It's, I mean, whether whatever religion you are, with spiritual, whatever, belief is believing in something that you can't see. Faith, right? Believing in something you can't see. So if you're wanting something, you can't really see it. That's where the phrase is, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, no, you got to flip that around. I see it, so I believe it. You got to see it up here. You got to know for a fact. You got to know that somebody's on your side and wants to give you what you want. But when you keep changing that address, if when you keep changing and you putting those doubts out there, it's like, eh, you know, it's not magical. It's not just, hey, I want this. Or you know deep down, oh, I just want money. Mm, it's, it's a little bit deeper than that. First of all, you have to believe that you can have it, that it is yours. So if you're struggling with that, that's something you're going to have to fix first. You can't just write affirmations. You can't just say them every day. Oh, I want this. If you don't have a deep down feeling that you can feel it. Think about when you were a kid at Christmas time and you wanted something. You could feel yourself having it. You could feel yourself see it, playing with it. You could see it. You could taste it. You could smell it. That's faith. That's belief. And that's, that's what we have to do. We have to be childlike in that manner when we want something. The other caveat is what you believe is, is people. We can attract things. We can, we can attract our health. It's a little more difficult, especially if you're ill. Uh, you know, it's hard to not focus on what is. Money. If you're broke, it's kind of hard to focus on what is. But once you have that belief and you see what you want, you'll get there. When it's with people, you can attract the right people into your life. If you're looking for a partner and you're trying to attract someone specific, you can attract the qualities and get the feelings that you want. But you can't expect a certain person. You can't say, hey, I want this person to change. If you're in a relationship, sometimes people change. And if you don't grow together in a relationship, that's, that's a whole different ball game. I, I'm speaking more of, uh, I, I mean, I guess it's the same, you know, some, you can work, a relationship takes work, I, I don't really want to go down that path, I'm just saying specifically, even with friendships, you, you can't expect your friend to do act in a certain way that you want, you can expect it, but you might get disappointed, because everybody has their own thoughts. Everybody has different frequencies going on. So you can't really control that. So if you have to find a new group of friends or if you're finding, trying to look for a partner, you can attract. You have to think about what you're wanting ultimately, even if it's looks, the looks, the hair, the eyes, you know, the personality, the characteristics. Drill it down. Keep asking yourself, what do I want? Is this really what I want? What do I want? You know, I want somebody confident but not cocky you know i want somebody loving but not clingy you know so start focusing on more of what you want not the clingy part but but that's how it works with anything once you start getting stuck and you're having those negative thoughts about going to get something purchase a car don't think about the process or what's happened in the past or what happened to your friend you think about this is what I want. I want an easy transaction. I want a nice salesman. I want somebody that's honest. I want a good price. Focus on what you want. Ask yourself that question. What do I want? I love you guys.